All right, so back with more Punisher No Mercy. Yeah, last time we had to do like that timed one, that was pretty annoying. What's Jigsaw up to, Cooley? Lately wishing he had me good looks. Give me something, damn it. Well then, how about that? <laughs> I forgot, now we gotta fight ourselves. Alright, let's see. Uh oh, don't freeze up on me now. There we go, okay. Uh, I don't really have any other weapons, I guess. So we need to give a number of opponents, okay? You have lost the lead. It's intense once you get on a streak, but the aiming was just so terrible. Be the first to eliminate a given number of opponents. Threat. 
switch your other weapon is faster than reloading. <laughs> Damn. Oh, crap, crap. Mm. to eliminate a given number of opponents. Seven microchips, twelve barracudas, fifteen frank castles. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> You were drugged. So were the poor bums you slaughtered, psycho. You lying bitch. I- I don't lie. The bitch part is debatable. A dose of mindfuck like yours triggers violent lifelike hallucinations. It's called mindfuck. Nice. It originates in Simcaria, my home. And we both know America's chief importer. I'm going alone. Good. I'm meeting up with some friends tonight, anyway. I don't generally take pleasure in killing, but when all I see is Jigsaw, how can I not? Okay, so on to the next one. So, a little bit about the Punisher, if I didn't touch on that in the last one. Um, it's like one of my favorite Marvel characters of all time, besides Logan or Slash Wolverine. But uh, so I think 
I first got into the Punisher with the the I first got into the Punisher with the Thomas Jane version of the movie because I didn't know that there was the Dolph Lundgren version before that, and I just absolutely fell in love with it as a kid. Like, yeah, I watched that movie so many times, so many times, and I watched it with my dad, and we both just fell in love with it. It's like I had airsoft guns at the time, and you know, I was taking apart the airsoft guns and putting them putting them back together, and that whole thing, and just yeah, I was obsessed with it. So I watched that movie over and over and over and over and over. Um, and then it was like, you know, I wanted to play all the games, and I ended up playing the, uh, I think it was like 2005, I don't remember, but it's like a third-person Punisher game, which hopefully at some point we'll get to that game, I really want to, because that is a really good game. Uh, so I played that, and then I'm pretty sure that was also voiced by Thomas Jane, if I remember correctly. But anyways, so, for the longest time, um, my dad and I tried to look for a Punisher t-shirt, like, as close as possible to the one he wore in the movie with Thomas Jane. And we could never find it. And, you know, years pass and kind of forget about it or whatever. And then one, one day I went to visit my dad in California. And uh, we were out at the mall just for fun or whatever. And this is like, you know, I'm a teenager, I think, at this point. Yeah. Uh, we're at the mall and we see it. It's like it's just there in the window, like perfect, like at Hot Topic. You just see the logo of the shirt in the window. And my dad looked at me and we're like, "We gotta get it, gotta go get it." So I went and grabbed it, and I have that shirt still today. It's got a hole in it, but <laughs> I still have it. It's just packed away. But yeah, I, I love that T-shirt. But I also I love Frank Castle. And then, as I got older, in the past five years, I started to, you know, watch basically everything else. So it's like, of course, I watched the, the, uh, the TV show. That was really good. I read some of the comics. Um, like, I have some of the Punisher Max comics. Those are really good. Uh, and then I rewatched the, uh, what's it called? The one with Dolph Lundgren. That one's not, it's, it's not bad. It's just not great. I, I've kind of grown to love it. Um, it's just goofy, but it's it's still good. And then uh, Punisher Warzone, I did not like that at first. But I, um, as I got, again, older, when I, I watched that when it first came out, and I was really hoping that uh, Thomas Jane would be in it, but he wasn't in it. Of course, because it was Ray Stevenson, and I was kind of like, eh. But then I watched a couple of Ray Stevenson's movies, and uh, again, another one that just kind of grew on me. Because um, I really liked Ray Stevenson and Outpost. Also, rest in peace, because Ray Stevenson is dead now, unfortunately. Um, but I really liked the Outpost films. Those are really cool films. They're like, I don't even know how to describe those. They're like sci-fi World War II films. Um, anyways, so, all in all, I just, I, I love The Punisher, and it's just a bond between me and my dad, and it's just, yeah, I just, I love it. Alright, so what's next? Eight more waves to go. Oh, oh I think this Survive is the as one. as many enemy waves as you can. As you can, eliminate eight waves. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think what I did last time was uh, kind of just be an asshole in camp when I first played this. What, you some kind of hero? Take this. Worthless punk. 
18 lives remain. Okay. So I just gotta last long enough. Like you have to press the right analog to aim down sights. Like, just so stupid. I don't. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea in first-person shooters. Like, press the right analog. Like, it's more intuitive or something. Next wave in six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. 
start being fun. Wave in seven, six, five, just gotta hunker down like four, gears and just go for three, it. <laughs> two, one. He almost had me. Oh, they might have me. Oh, fuck. What's one more scratch? Time to bloody you up. Started this war alone. I'll, I'll finish, finish it. it alone. It was pretty badass. <laughs> and so I also have to mention uh, dirty laundry. Um, so that was like super cool to see too. Was Thomas Jane come back just for that short? It's too bad he never got to make like a second Punisher film. But I am glad that he at least made that and that was like that was pretty raw and it was really cool because it's like it's not until the very end it's like you see the punisher symbol and it's like oh like of course you know but it was just yeah yeah the punisher it's just super good if he's really here he's got to be dead not him Damn. So, what was your favorite part, Frankie? Did you like the handsome masks? Or seeing your old pals Barracuda and Bushwhacker again? <laughs> I know what I liked. You know, when you took out those 50 poor slobs I hired off the streets. It's amazing what 10 bucks and a gun will buy you. Plus a big hit of mindfuck, of course. I mean, I know you're all about cleaning up the streets and all, but this... All this just to get to me. Well now, someone's a little full of himself. The money comes first, buddy. Though I'll admit, fucking with you was a fun little side project. And I'm still having fun, damn it. You know what, Frankie baby? That might just leave a scar. Now, let's make a few more. You don't know the first thing about being scarred. Enough! So, I was right about the bitch part. And, uh, that's it. <laughs> I know. Um, basically, it just, it just never got continued, to my knowledge. Um, I don't think they ever finished it. Like, just, just to make sure that I'm not wrong.
Yeah, they never finished it. Um, cause there was, so there was that other one that I was talking about. That's third person. And before this came out, there was plans to do like an open world Punisher game, which that would have been so just fucking awesome. So I mean, ending thoughts like this game, st- it it sucks. Like it sucks. The you know the little story like comic book stuff like that's kind of cool but like the gameplay itself is awful the mechanics are awful like it's just an arena shooter like go play quake (laughs) like as a matter of fact go play quake 3 and just do like the punisher skin there you go (laughs) but yeah i mean it, it doesn't matter how good or bad some things are sometimes like I just have a soft spot, it depends, like, for the Punisher, I don't care, I'll play it, I'll watch it, whatever. All in all, I just love the Punisher. So, there you go, there's Punisher No Mercy. So, that's the end of that. Um, Hopefully we'll come back with some more Punisher games, uh, because there's some on the arcade, there's, uh, there's the third person one, like I keep talking about. Um... Yeah, there's a few different ones, so we'll see. But until next time.